Hey guys, we're here at Chat Show 2023 with Swap Fantastics and Miles. They got four new things coming out this year. We're going to cover two of them here. You can also go over to check out the Gun Snaps channel, find out about the other two. But Miles, what have you got coming out? Yeah, let's get into it. So this one we are so excited about. It's our most upcoming launch. This is the Raider 1X Micro Prism. So this guy is a beater. Basically, what we have incorporated into this is all the features of our prisms, and we shrink it down right into the dot sight. It's basically a hybrid. Um, I'm currently calling it the dot sight killer because once you get behind this, you're not really going to want to go back. Uh, so some of the features that we run into with this is that we have a die cast zinc alloy body, super durable. We also have side bolted titanium screws. Comes with 1.1 and 1.6 inch mounts out of the box, ready to go. The footprint itself is a T2 footprint, so it's very universal. Uh, we also incorporate in obviously the etch reticle, so we do an etch BRC reticle just like our blade series. Uh, with diopter adjustment, we got the 10 brightness settings, NV settings compatible. Um, and basically, the most important aspect of this entire optic is the overall performance. So it's the eye relief, the eye box, being able to get behind it as easily as possible. So it's not nearly as tight as your average prism. So this guy's gonna be launching in April. Um, you know, really, really excited for this launch to kind of ramp out. All right, so right around. Right around NRAM time, you guys will be. Correct. Yeah, that's going to be the official out. launch. Oh, yeah. What do it's, you think? It's nice and clear. Absolutely no problem, you know, looking through, both eyes open, exactly. catching it. Nice and bright. Is that all up the way up? Are we all the way up? Or? Oh, yeah, that's. I like that. Like it's nice and clear. Yeah, yep. no, we, we are very excited for that one. And just a little feature, uh, because our customers keep losing their flip caps, <laughs> we decided to secure it here so that you can actually have it be removable, put it on, keep it off if you want. So just kind of fine tuning all those small features and then putting it all together into one package. So that's kind of what we're looking at. And MSRP price on this point is going to be. Uh... Alrighty. Well, that's one. Yep. So oh, we got another one coming up. Second one we're going to go over is our second generation Sentinel. So All Sentinel right. two. This year is a heavy year for generational updates for us. Um, so that's kind of a big point. So I'll go ahead and grab that guy from you. Cool. So Sentinel two. We got this guy, Yep. threw in all the features. Uh, so basically everything that we had with the original Sentinel line, but the reason why we did this update is for increased durability is a major point. So this guy is a beater, it can be dropped, it can be surface racked, uh, really trying to get more aggressive with making sure these guys are tough. Uh, something that is very unique to us is that we have this removable rear sight uh, actually fixed in front of the hood. So the reason why we did that is because these micro slides, they lose their dovetail. Um, a lot of them do, just like this P365. So this way you have the option of having a guided sight if you want it. If you don't, you can just take it out. Um, and then on top of that, you know, we've done a lot of internal improvements, turret adjustment is tactile clicks. Um, improve the battery life as well, uh, tactile buttons, um, and you know, shake and wake and everything like we do on average is incorporated. Yep. Uh, this guy is going to be about a midsummer launch, and we're actually doing Gen 2 updates to our full size dots as well, so that's going to be coming out around the same time. All right, so everybody knows they're coming, the, the, uh, Liberty and the Justice are also going to get the same kind of updates as what this one's getting? Correct. Um, so the only thing that they are not going to get is the removable rear sight, because we don't really need that for the full size, right? Right. But the full sizes are actually going to be incorporated with multi reticle technology. So that's going to be added into all of our future dot sites moving forward. So it's going to be the circle dot? Circle dot, circle, circle and dot. And wrist dot. Absolutely. Right. And you did, I did talk to um, Tyler over here the other day. He did say you went from 16 to 20. Oh the yeah, the 20 window millimeter window. Yes, we went for a larger window yep. as well. And you did the same thing on the on the Liberty. So and yeah, Liberty Justice. 2 is moving up to a 24. Up. Justice is actually moving up to a super tall 30 millimeter window. We're really going for the competition style for that guy. Really honing it so in. So that one's going to be more like a, a SRO or something. Correct. Like that. Yeah, similar similar to that body style. Yes, All right. absolutely. Well, that's that's cool. I'm looking forward to the updates on these. And this these what these are way more beefy than the other ones yeah, are. Yeah, and so, you know, we were really trying to find that line between concealability while also getting the durability that we needed out of it. You can still holster, you can still conceal, no problem with it, but you're just getting the extra toughness, which is so essential for EDC, you never know what's gonna happen. So we're doing everything we can to protect that glass. All right, thanks for going over these with hey, us. Hey, yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna step out from behind, or from in front of my camera and get behind snouts and- Let's do it again. You guys will do the other two, so. Thanks to Miles here from Swamp Fox Optics, keep an eye out for this Sentinel update, the Liberty, the Justice update. We get the the Dot Killer back here, and we got two more coming. We'll catch you guys on the next one.